any recognition you have while I bring this up? I'll start first. Jamie's not on, but she'll probably listen to the recording. Um, she sent out four voice messages to invite to the um, Coach Sneak Peek last night, and she has been all about the Diamond Dash. Um, so super proud of her um, and for kind of restarting her business, as well as Sarah Ryder and Trisha as well. They're both in Diamond Dash and doing great. Hey, who else has recognition? All right, I'll go. I know um, Melissa Gotti has been just crushing it. I know her and Noelle have been just raising the bar on our new challenge that we're doing. I know both of them are plugging into the business more, which is really exciting because they are my great, 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 whatever <laughs> in my downline. But um, it's really cool seeing y'all step up and lean in. Um, and just like so many new ideas we have going on behind the scenes, you guys, like, I feel like Carl's launch today is kind of a precursor to everything that's going to be coming from our team. So I know we're excited to share some new stuff with you guys as you guys work through the Diamond Dash, which shout out to Jess for kind of starting that ripple that's been this energy and kind of all these I feel, I feel like it's lit a light bulb in other areas that is contagious and it's just really cool to be part of that. Any other recognition? Yeah, before all your announcements, I'll just recognize since I don't think I've done it on a call yet, um, Emily, for kind of taking lead on a team test group for Let's Get Up um, as well as the free group. So way to step into that, Em. So, so true. You're such a sweetheart too. So it's awesome to see you run with it. Oh, Morgan in her robe. I feel like it's like a coming out party. Getting out of, out of the shower. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Here's the theme song. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> so take off all your clothes. Don't worry. Keeping it from the neck up. <laughs> Got any recognition, Morgan? Um, We're putting not, you off the the top, top. not off the top of my head, but I just wanted to show my face <laughs> since I never do. About time. <laughs> all right. Um, before I go into the announcements too, just a reminder, guys, I put up in the hub a team, we're doing our team summit retreat in Arizona, which I know Allie hates when I bring this up because she's going to be having a baby then or she'd be there, but we do have two open spots. So if it's something, I saw a few questions, um, like this would be up to Jess and the rest of us, but I saw a few questions of possibly like maybe taking three days off of work is a lot for you. So if you're someone that's like, oh, I could come Thursday, Friday, just reach out and let's chat about it. Cause I know I'd love to see as many people there as possible. Um, even if you take like a late flight Wednesday night or something like that, we still have two open spots. So anybody that is interested in coming, just comment on that post and we'll connect and figure it out, figure out what works best. Um, all right, so the announcements are also in the hub. Um, if you guys didn't see Carl's 30 minute video, definitely take the time to watch it because I think it's always important for you to understand where these decisions came from and kind of how he brought this to life, right? Like we wanna know as business owners what's going on. But just to kind of run through them real quick, in June, they're coming out with the new cookies and creamy permanent flavor that is vegan and gluten-free. And all vegan flavors will be transitioned to be gluten-free, which is huge. Cause I know people give so much crap about it not being certified gluten-free, even though if you do the research and you understand the R&D that Beachbody does, like it's pretty much gluten-free already. Um, and they're increasing the probiotics in the Shakeology, which is super cool. The thing that I am probably the most excited about because I really think it's where BOD groups and like our Zoom workout crew and like the group fitness experience is all coming together in one in this new body platform, which I know they'll go over more at Summit. But basically it's gonna be a platform that is a subscription monthly and you can actually take live classes with the trainers and such like that. So um, that will be integrated with the spin bike um, company that we are combining with and all that good stuff. Again, all the details will be at Summit for that, um, which leads into the Nutrition Plus. 
it's going to be something that all of us want to get our hands on because in August, they're going to go to the Nutrition Plus members and give them access to body first. So if there's ever a time to get your Nutrition Plus back and active, it is now because I know I want to be the first one to try this body stuff. Um, and then they are simplifying all the portion fix videos which is awesome because I know for me, I get like overwhelmed when there's too much stuff in there. So I think that's going to be a great tool, just like 21 day fix was back in the day of like keeping stuff simple. So that will be coming out. Um, and if you already have ultimate portion fix, which I think most of us do, you will get access to all these new videos without like paying for it again. Um, the dates for 645 came out, which I know I am so pumped for this program. I like can't even tell you I loved the work. I think a lot of us did. Um, so the dates for the program are out coach exclusive right after July 4th, which is when people are going to be feeling not so hot and customer launch the 19th. So this will be like, I hope you're prepared to like send a lot of freaking messages when we're on our summit retreat, because I want to get as many people as possible, like in our teams committing to this program, doing it all out VIP access. So, um, for me personally, I'm going to start the work on Monday because that's exactly six weeks up until this program launch. Fun fact, if you want to do that, if it lines up with you, come join me. Last announcement um, is we have a new super trainer and she previously was um, working with Peloton and did a lot of 80s kind of workouts with Peloton that are still really popular apparently. I've never done it, so I'm not familiar, but that will align with the program coming out this week winter. So lots of stuff, take it all in, take some time to like understand it. This is a lot of what like summit is. You get a lot of stuff thrown at you. And the cool thing is they gave a lot of it to us now. So I'm kind of like, what are we getting at summit? But, um, we will continue to educate and share tools and resources with you guys and add stuff to the classroom. You guys know, we're going to do a big launch group for 645. So um, I think it's just really exciting to see them continue to innovate and give us what we're asking for more interactive platforms that allows us to connect to people. What did I miss Austin for summit? And I haven't watched Carl's video cause I started it and then realized it's way longer than I had break for with, with work. Um, so I got through part of it, but I imagine they'll share a lot of pricing, like the specifics on how much the bike is going to cost, what the commission is going to look like, um, what the, how that'll be included in challenge packs or not. Like I'm stoked and I, it's so bad, but like, I've already started thinking, how do I redesign my guest room so I can fit a bike in there? <laughs> Yeah. And the stuff with the bike, Carl actually said he put a post up about it and it got double the amount of like viewership and interaction than maybe any other post in the past five years. So if that gives you an idea of how hype this is going to be and really how much the next six months of our business really matters, um, that should tell you everything, right? Because they couldn't give full details on the video since the merging with, what is it called? Mix bikes. Yeah. I always get the name wrong. The merging of that company with Beachbody has not officially happened yet. And they have not launched on the stock exchange yet. So there's a lot of details they can't specifically say around pricing until hopefully at summit that stuff is happening in a done deal legally. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for it. And like I said, for me, the body stuff is most interesting because I think it's going to really change the way we're allowed. We, integrate our groups with people and just having that community engagement that's really fun so anything else guys did I miss anything cool so I would just suggest like again digesting this putting the dates on your calendars that you know about and start reverse engineering from there really knowing that 645 launch is coming and that new Shakeology flavor is coming those are kind of the first two main things all right. So tonight, oh, I was just going to say, since you mentioned the new technology flavor, it's like, do you remember, was it four years ago at summit that they had this huge bucket in the middle of the core to vote or like place your cast your vote for what Shakeology flavor you want? Like, this is how cool summit is. They listen to feedback. I remember talking to so many people and there were like two really strong flavors that were kind of the theme. Peanut butter was one of them. 
Um, and then this cookies and cream was another one. And that's actually like, I voted for that. I was like, I freaking love this flavor. So it's just so cool how to see like the, the product of this yeah. community, right? I would even add on to that same thing at an even, even higher level at new leaders conference, which you guys earn when you're one star diamond. One of the things that we had asked for there, because previously at all summits I had gone to, it's like everybody went to all the same sessions. And now you guys know that they break it out per rank if you've been to summit. So like if you're two star and above, you go to different sessions than like if you're diamond level and then like emerald level that didn't exist a couple years ago. So to Jess's point, like they really do listen and take into account like what we as coaches want and need more of to make our business successful. So you might get frustrated with bod groups sometimes or like things might not work exactly, but I promise you like it always comes out better than you expect, which that's why I'm like really interested about this body stuff because I just think it's going to really change the way we do things much like Beachbody On Demand, which has only been around since 2016, like not that long ago. Well, I mean, I'm old, but you know. All right. So... I know a lot of you have blank faces now, but we wanted this to be more of an interactive call and just kind of like touching base on social media and what you guys are struggling with. Yay, Jamie. Um, we want it to be about you, right? Because sometimes we need to just have calls of like, hey, what's working? What's not? Let's talk about it. So one of the things that kind of came up was social media in general. I know that we'll definitely do a call specifically on reels because that's something that we have been talking a lot about, but we just wanted to kind of check in with y'all. Like we can do a social media audit for you and kind of go through your account and just give our feedback on like, Hey, have you ever thought about this or that? If you're up for it, Jamie, we can totally use you as the guinea pig. Um, and, or you can also kind of share with us like what's working well for you and what's not and how can we help? So we're kind of putting you on the spot if you're able to talk. Um, yeah, I think that'd be awesome. I would totally be um, game for being the guinea pig because I feel like I've been trying to figure out my social media and um, really exciting. So I post some videos trying to like kind of make that better. And I had two people actually mm -hmm. message me about it, which was really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm game if you guys are. Cool. I can share my screen. <clears throat> Morgan, did you want to kick it off? Tag your it. Yeah, I can do that. I was actually just about to go follow her because I don't think I follow you, Jamie. Okay. I don't think I follow you. <laughs> like look at your all on my phone because I feel like my brain um, absorbs it better in the phone. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sure. No, it's okay. You can still keep it on the screen. Um, and it doesn't just have to be Morgan it could be anybody hop in and like what do you guys see on Jamie's page what's she about obviously Allie don't talk because you already know <laughs> okay well the first thing I noticed is that your profile was like a picture of your face like like clearly your face and I can like tell who you are that's definitely good um I think your feed is like attractive. It's like bright colors and it makes me want to scroll through it. Maybe that's just because we're talking about it. Um, I've been wondering if like my colors are too muted. I kind of want to, I don't know. My phone's kind of outdated, so I think I've been wanting to. Do you, do you like use a Lightroom preset or are they just like Instagram filters? Um, I was using a Lightroom um, preset, but I feel like they didn't really work well with my pictures, and so I think I need to get a new one. Yeah, I think a lot of us have had that issue before, so what we did, I don't know if you were on the call when we mentioned it, but just created a thing in the classroom where we, like, all shared the presets that we have, and so that way you don't even have to, like, buy one and hope that it works out you could just try ones that other people have used and see if any of those free ones like work with your feed and the way that you can do that um do you have one of the apps that lets you like plan out what your feed looks like no I don't have one 
So I think we all kind of use it to a certain extent. I'm not super like strict about it, but especially when I was picking my preset and seeing if it worked with my photos, that's when it was really helpful because you can download the preset, filter all your photos that you plan to post in the next like week or so. And then it puts it in the Instagram feed, like in your actual Instagram feed, but on the separate app. And you can see if you like the way that looks. Um, the one that I use, I think is called Preview. There's a couple of them out there. Yeah, I personally never use it, to be honest. <laughs> but has a I use it religiously. It's all mentioned in that call recording too. But yeah, that's just a resource to like get a snapshot. Um, or you can just have a bunch of pictures in Lightroom and just edit them and see how they look next to each other too, instead of like having to visualize the Instagram feed. Yeah. I, I guess another reason why I like the planning app is because sometimes I'll just like sit down to write captions and I'll just go to that app to like put it with a picture that I already have planned. But yeah, definitely check out the free presets that we put on the classroom because I think preview, can I just jump in really yeah. quick about so preview also like if you set to schedule a post it'll remind you too so that like if you're like having a busy day and you're like oh like I have it set it'll just like remind you and then you just like press a button and it'll put up what you already have which is nice yeah so I used later before and it was the same way and it was nice like to do it like schedule my post on Sunday and then just copy the words and it was it would just go and it was so easy it took like two minutes to post it instead of however long to find the picture etc cetera, etc cetera. Mm -hmm. I would and say you can't play extra and it'll like post automatically but the, it got complicated with like Instagram and Facebook so I didn't do that well I would say overall Jamie you have a lot of good like different shots like you can tell like your five things that are up here right like the only thing I would change and maybe you guys can give some insight into this is like what are you looking for like who are you looking to help right because all of these things are all about you and that's something that I've kind of worked on is like when I have my link tree here you probably have like your links to like join your group and stuff like that like put, come up with a, a slogan of like helping you know this is super basic but like get some get more specific with it like helping busy moms you know manage newborn life and balancing work whatever it is like Ali can help you do it but I think adding like an emoji or two up here just like making it a little bit more fun but like your video your different views you're showing a transformation check you're showing your family check you're showing that your fitness check you are showing where you live, check, right? Like you're showing that you have friends and a family. And so it's not just all the same photos, which I think is really great. Um, I would have to go look at the captions, but obviously you're getting a lot of likes on them. So my question to you is, are you talking to all these people and reaching out to them? No. <laughs> and I was like in our um, Diamond Dash group, I totally realized I was not posting like fitness, Flash. like I'm posting outdoorsy stuff but not like more geared towards like people that would want to do beach body I feel like like I could have used like my beach photo and totally done like a whole thing and I didn't use that opportunity so I'm okay. gonna change it back you can reuse it and bring it back that's true good point that's why you take a bunch like I take a bunch I can look into like go ahead Jess I was just saying, I can look into the resources that are provided from, I paid for the Angie Lee's niche course. Um, one of the big things that she talks about in the niche course, because she like caters so much to network marketers is the Instagram profile. And she's very like anti a dating Instagram profile as like a I don't know what the word is like the, yeah, the profile description and much more of like, what problem do you solve for people? Yes. And so that's kind of like another way of phrasing the same thing Danielle was saying of like making it about other people of is just thinking about the concept of like, what, what problem are you solving? So she gave a formula and I'm not like in love with mine, but it fills in the formula is like, 
I blank for what kind of person to go from what to what? Like, it's just this like, for, so I'll look back into her resources for that. I haven't visited in a while, um, but just to get your like brain flowing of like, what am I doing and who am I targeting? Like this um, formula might help. So I'll look into that and then share it with the team. Thanks, Jess. Yeah, I think the main like focus is like, how can you, it's very easy on social media to say, look at me, right? But our goal isn't to say, look at me, our goal, and not saying that you're doing this, Jamie, but like, we always have to remember like, what is this post? What is my goal this week, right? If I wanna hit success club and help someone with a challenge group, yes, I need to share my journey with them, but how is it helping them? like be more consistent or be more committed or figure out a solution to the problem. So like all of your like reels and stuff like that, like that's just another way to be creative. So um, I think what Jamie was alluding to that she hasn't posted a invite to coaching post frequently too is a prime example. And I know Jess said a lot of the girls got kind of called out on that. Like you guys want to build a team and have an income you got to talk about the team and the community and what you are a part of and how you want to help other women do the same. Any other? Also like telling, like using your captions to tell more stories. The last post that you just made, your transformation post caption was really good because that's like, that like caught my attention and it's like, you know, a little bit more feelings based and actually telling your followers a story. Um, I mean, I'm definitely not the best at that, but even just mixing in like, you know, the short to the point captions with like the storytelling ones will grab people's attention. I actually just told Allie about starting to incorporate personal development on storytelling. And since I know that you're her coach, you're probably similar way. Um, there's a book from Summit last year called The Story Brand, I think. I'll post it in the chat after but that might be helpful for you as well of like thinking about the characters in your life and the story you want to create. That's really what we're doing. And um, so you have your characters of your daughter and your husband and your friends, which is all great, but remembering the message you want to do is, is where we're going to focus. Anything else you want to know, Jamie, pick our brains. Is this helpful? Um, yeah, super helpful. Thank you guys. For sure. Keep up the reels. It's awesome to see you stepping out your comfort zone. It's called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. That's it. Thank you, Allie. Yep. Emily, you want to go next? Sure. Um, Tell me I your definitely, well, one, I struggle. Sorry, I got to go back downstairs. Um, I'm in the middle of making dinner. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so what is your username? Mine is M L E M Lynn. That's why I can never tag you. Yeah. Um, and one, I have not found a fill or a preset that I like because if you notice how different the light is, like my workout space is like in the dungeon there's no windows there's no anything <laughs> like um I'm currently living in my mom's basement so I have like a little I have a lot of like unnatural light and so it looks so different from when I post my workout videos to when I do any anything outside or even just upstairs <laughs> um so I need to find something with that. And then I have gone, like, I think I just overthink it about who I'm helping. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just my, like, I can't, I obsess over the wording of stuff a lot. And so I think that's really where I just need to break through and nail it down. Allie, you want to take this one? Then I'll give my thoughts. Yeah, I can. Let me scroll on my phone so I can read the captions and stuff. But um, So before I scroll, I'll say I'm the same way with overthinking stuff. 
um i overthink everything and like feel like i have to write it out 20 million times but honestly when i just like fly by the seat of my pants and write it out it turns out better than the ones i overthink yeah Um, which is hard but i mean that's and the ones that i don't overthink are the ones that get more likes and more views and things like that and more comments so um and then like the other thing that like I've struggled with is like kind of playing like more so like the subtle like curiosity and I haven't quite nailed that so like without just outright saying it and I feel like I just need to outright say like what I'm doing (laughs) sounds like that's your next post yeah scroll up Danielle I didn't pull sorry that's okay I was gonna say Emily I actually really like the way your profile looks because I feel like it's very you yeah like I mean obviously don't overthink too much about like the lighting and I think we talked about getting a ring light for your workout space Mm -hmm. I was still like I mean obviously you I think one thing you might find helpful with the lighting thing and I, I can try to find a good video on YouTube there's another section it's part of the free app aspect of Lightroom mobile and I didn't talk about it because it's kind of like takes things to a whole nother level of like complicated but it's good to know if you want to make this minor adjustment um you can adjust like by color so like in your artificial lighting like the yellows and the oranges are the specific color that speak through you can just edit what hue of orange it is and how bright or hard to how dark the orange specifically is so I'll, I'll try look to find into that for you on that okay yeah that would be helpful it's just a lot more complicated than just picking a filter so I didn't go into that you know for the other video yeah definitely um and then the like yeah speaking to somebody like that's just really what like that's kind of like I do the like kind of quick most I feel like most of mine is just like mindset you know like positive mindset versus more like fitness and stuff yeah so you're just talking to everybody right now yeah right right yeah essentially you and I need to like I mean going over your five things and I don't know Danielle how you word it usually but like is the five things that are the most important to you? Is that what you normally? Yeah, like for this picture, like what is this telling somebody? Right. Trying I can't find- see. Sorry, I'm on my phone right now. Oh. <laughs> um, it's your just finished day one of a brand new dance program. No, I don't dance well, but I sure had fun. So like if I were to edit this, I would start with a question of like, when's the last time you had a dance party? Today, I started a brand new program. It's way outside my comfort zone, but a group of girls from my team are doing it too. Like, what's your favorite dance workout song or something like mm-hmm. that? Cause you're asking for engagement and you're just taking that to a different level. That's curiosity and not saying join my challenge group, but involving people in your journey instead of this is a little more look at me. I did my dance. Yeah. Dance, right. Yeah. So and I, I'll like preface this whole call and I'm sure everyone agrees like it is so much easier to make comments about things than yeah. to like be on the other side so mm-hmm. don't ever take any of these things like harshly um because we I mean you can pick any of us next um one thing that I was just thinking like Danielle going through it too is as soon as she was like writing these words I was like oh my gosh what would the Emily from a year ago think about this program right? Like you would have been like, I never would have even given it a try if it wasn't for the community, Mm -hmm. right? Like thinking about how far you've come to relate back to the person who needs this in their life, which was Emily a year ago. Right. Yeah. I think I just like need to figure out who I'm talking to and then incorporate that, that like speaking to somebody and I don't know Jess I might be reaching out to you to do some like like caption how like how does this come across because 
um, a lot of the times it is just something like quick because I want to post something rather than nothing. Yep. Kind of thing. So I know that like that's. Oh, 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 sorry, we lost you. Yeah, you can totally put it in the coach message pod too, Emily. Like any of us are happy to help. And I think it's, you guys have to remember, like you guys all learn from each other too, right? Like there's probably something you didn't look at Jamie's page that you might've learned from her and vice versa. So I would encourage you to put it in the pod, not just to not talk to your coach, but also so that you all learn from each other and can help each other that way. Um, but I don't think that your basement photos look bad at all. Personally, I think you're way in your head about that. I think it's more so, like you said, really nailing down who does Emily want to help. And like, think of that person in your head when you write your captions, like, what would you say to that specific person that keeps telling, you no every month when you go back to them, use that girl in your head as you write every single post, I'm telling you, it will get like way more just energy and your message coming across when you think of that person when you're writing it too. Sorry guys, I wanted to say something really fast because I watched a video um, and this girl was saying to basically just talk like it's like you're talking to your best friend. And I feel like that's really helped me kind of figure out what to say because some things I would just totally just let loose and say to my best friend, that makes it a lot easier for me, so. Exactly. All right, do we want to do one more or you guys want to call it a night? I know Noelle's off the screen, so she might not be able to tell you, but we could also go through one of ours, whatever you guys think. What do you guys think? Priya wants one more. One more. Should we do Noelle's or you I want to do one of ours? We'll do Noelle's to help her out, even though she's off the screen. I'm here. Can you hear me? I am here. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool. I'm just, I'm, I screamed off because he's okay. fighting sleep. So, but no I'm here. Worries. Okay, cool. Um, someone else take it besides me because Noelle already hears from me. No. Well, I like that you have like help and inspire others in your bio. Um, I know we pointed that out with Jamie's um, and Emily's, but like, if somebody were to just come to your page right now, like they know that you have that to offer, you know? I also like how many pictures have your face in it. I think that was one thing that Sarah Ryder made comment of her own reflection in the Diamond da Dash audit. She was like, wow, I never post myself. <laughs> She's like, people probably don't even know I'm a coach. So like, I think that's awesome that you are focusing on finding pictures with you in it, even when you in it is showing other areas of your life and aspects of it. Guys, yeah, I'm for like, a while, all I was doing was posting my son. So I did try to focus a little less on him because He's not selling beach body. <laughs> <laughs> it shows that you've put the effort into focusing on that. So that's awesome. It is such a cute photo. I'm realizing that like, I'm totally guilty of this too. I don't think any of us are doing enough like call to action. Like, I don't really know by looking at your guys' profiles that like you're offering hey, like, come do these workouts. With, like, no offense. Like, I don't do it either. You know what I mean? But I'm just now realizing it. I feel like sometimes I struggle with, like, what do what does the picture of that look like? What is that? Like, what would I post for that? And obviously, there's been a lot of events in the recently. Oh, there's been a lot of events recently. Yeah. Um, that well, are, like, Mother's Day and my anniversary and stuff. But yeah. I think this is probably the closest lately. Like, for this one, for example, keep the same caption and just at the end, just be like something that lets them know that they can do this too, or like you're here to help them too. I don't know. What do you say, Danielle, at the end of your post? Yeah, stop beating around the bush, guys. You got to say it eventually sometimes. <laughs> like I'm starting a new group for May, like looking for, I mean, it doesn't have to be like looking for five people because I know that's kind of old school way. But also like even in just your stories, like polls are just such a great way to invite like on a regular basis, guys. 
without it being like, here's five spots, do it all the time. But like Allie is prime example of this. She started implementing like the countdown and showing who is signing up for her group. Why do you think she hits SC 10 every month? It's because she's doing the countdown and saying there's only five spots. So I think sometimes we're scared to do that for ourselves. Cause they're like, what if nobody signs up? Do you think anybody remembers? No, but like, yeah, this is a prime post Noel that I'd be like, I want to help other mamas feel confident in their skin. Like if you're struggling with that, shoot me a message or comment below or whatever. Like, don't be afraid to say it because if you don't tell them, you're just showing them your story, right? You're not saying you can have this story with me. I think one thing too, um, cause you were, I saw it more, was it Morgan who's driving or Danielle? I can't tell with when me. you were going over it, you could see how many likes, I haven't fully implemented this, but I've seen it in some trainings from um, Melanie Mitro. It's like, pay attention to what your audience responds to. Like we are kind of always trying to see what they like. And so where do you have the most interactions? Where do you have the most likes? What are they relating to? So it looks like we're seeing a prime example here. You get more likes on the pictures that have you in it versus like the quotes, um, the ones that are showing like a personal side to it. I'm looking at this, like the transformation's a huge one. So what, what I, I've said this before where it's like, you wanna hit success club, like throw a transformation post up there. You have so many more people to send messages to based off of likes. Um, so kind of reflecting off of some of those things and asking yourself better questions to like go off of what is already working that you're doing. And I'm going to challenge everybody on this call because I hear, I know Noelle is saying we haven't had a lot of events and I'm calling BS because we've had a lot of freaking transformations in our team this past year. So one thing I that is so easy to show you're a part of a community is highlighting el someone else's transformation and sharing their story from our team. And I think that none of us do that enough. Like I aim to do that once a week. And I don't know about you, but I feel pretty damn good when somebody else shouts me out and like shares how much my transformation has inspired them, right? So there's an easy post for Throwback Thursday tomorrow for every single person on this call pick somebody's transformation from our team and tell their story. And if you don't know their story, shoot them a message and say, Hey, I'd love to feature your transformation. Can you share a little bit about it with me? I think that's just an easy way to show, like, it's not just Noelle on this journey or an Emily or whatever, or Jamie it's, Hey, whoa, she's like a part of something else where other women are getting results too. Any other thoughts? I had a question. Um, We've talked about how Ali posts like often about the countdown, but how often would you recommend doing that type of thing? I think you guys overthink things way too much. So I post it, I mean, I post it whenever I like in my story randomly. I don't know, especially when I was like when the before my mom group was starting. I didn't post it every day, but I talked about my mom group almost every day. And people would message me and say like, what is this? I'm interested. I'm being cleared Tuesday to work out again. Can you tell me more? Um, and I'm doing a call in June, kind of talking about finding your, your target market in terms of your challenge groups and accountability groups. But anyways, um, so, I mean, I, I probably posted like the slides that um, Jess and I made twice a week, maybe, I don't know, but I, 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 I talked about it constantly in different ways. I was going to say, it depends too. Like if you're a person that only puts five stories up a day and you're only putting that, that's annoying, right? Like you can't do that. You have to show your life and you have to be more diverse with what you're sharing. But if you're somebody that's in that 10 to 15 story range a day, yeah, twice a week is totally fine. But like, just stop overthinking it. It's better. Like Emily said, it's better to do something than do nothing. So just start somewhere and see what feels good to you. Um, the way I always like to think about it is when do people feel like crap? They feel like crap Sunday night after they ate and drank through the weekend. And usually that Monday, Tuesday, they're starting to think about like starting something for the new week. So those are really prime days for me, in my opinion, on talking to people about their goals and showcasing like Transformation Tuesday. Always there's a transformation. 
of somebody else because you just never know who else's story on your team that could reach that person. So just start doing something different. What else, Jamie, do you have something else to cut you off? Okay. All right, guys, did someone take a boomerang or something that you were here?